pop, you just clicked on a random YouTube notification. And now you have an anxious Slavic trans girl trying to sell you her mixtape. Hi. Two differences with that title. It's almost accurate. Um, it is not a mixtape. It's a five track EP with an interlude. And secondly, it's not really for sale. It's available for free on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, um, pretty much all of the sites that DistroKid uh, let me post to. So chances are if you go looking for this EP on any of those sites, it'll be there. Now if that is all you need to know, um, I would love it if you could check out the EP. It's around 20 minutes, it's not too long. There is a link in the description that lists all the sites it is on, so check it out. And if you enjoy it, it would mean a lot to me if you could share it around, show it to someone, you know. Because whilst I did make these primarily for myself, I did not go through the struggle of making cover art, making lyric videos, and um, publishing all of it, just for it to not be listened to by anyone, so you know. There are also lyric videos available on the second channel I have, my music channel, Interior. So, I will admit, at a few points, my speech becomes a little bit incomprehensible. If you want to figure out what I've said, there you go. Now, that is all I have to say, I think, for the promotional portion of this video. Uh, listen to the EP if you would like, I would really appreciate it. Now, I would like to also have a little talk about just what the project means to me. You know, it is kind of an interesting interesting thing. I also think this is the first time I'm like officially coming out on this channel. Like I just kind of made that video saying I'm going to change the name of the channel and then I was like that's it. But yeah, I am a woman, a trans woman. If you didn't figure that out already from the way I talk, the way I act, I don't feel like I pass quite yet. But you know, I'm getting there. If you purchase the album on iTunes, I get a one step closer. <laughs> I'm trans, and I wanted to mention it specifically here because this EP is quite revolving around that. A lot of it is more focused on the moods that causes me to have, less than my experience with the gender, but the first song is called Don't Call Me A Real Man. I don't think I can evade it. It's interesting how a lot of those songs that I've made were laying around in my computer for ages. A lot of those songs were made before I came to terms with being trans. There's a guy talking really loudly outside and I'm waiting for him to stop. So a lot of those songs were made kind of prior to that. And to me personally, it is really fascinating how a lot of the things I felt back then haven't really changed. <laughs> It's not a happy realization, but it is kind of nice to have this diary of what I did back then, what I'm doing now. Also, there are a few things that I'm really proud of when it comes to the project. For one, I'm proud that I pretty much made it all by myself. And on one hand, that means that it does come across a little bit amateurish, which it is. But I will say it is um, as authentic as I could make it meaning nobody else really had a hand in what I was doing. Which is nice, you know, I prefer it being that way. Even if, as a result, the compression isn't used very correctly in some parts, or the vocal effects get a bit overbearing, it's a part of it, I don't mind. And the second thing that I'm quite proud of is that I do believe that there isn't a lot of music like this out there. Of course, it's inspired by hip-hop and by trail music and by ambient music, but those things really come together in a kind of way that I don't think appears very often out there. It feels strange to be talking about my own project like this, like, like I made it, of course I'm going to be proud of it, but I don't always take that for granted, I don't know, like, there's a lot of stuff I make that I'm not particularly proud of, so to make a whole 20 minutes of something I'm proud of is pretty cool. So, this is the end of the video now, um, go listen to it if you'd like, and that's about it for now. Also, it might take me a while to come up with another video because after finishing the last one I felt a little bit burnt out, and that's why I chose to focus on something else, and I'm getting back into it, but 
coming up with another sort of longer video and it took up a lot of time you know putting this out as well and I have other things going on in the summer also so yeah but new video coming hopefully before the end of August but I'm not promising anything at all okay that's it this is me signing out goodbye <laughs>